One little tip I would say, whilst I'm talking to you, is that under here, can you see this little bit of metal here? Now that little bit of metal connects with this cam, you'll see it move. You see it move as I, as I take it across. Now what happens with Knit Masters is that uh, that cam can get jammed, if it gets bent slightly. It's there uh, so that when you use a ribber with it, you can't turn the, ten the top dial, this dial here, when you've got a ribber connected, you can't turn it to ferrule. Uh, yeah, to ferrule, because you obviously don't want to do that. But you can turn it to tuck, slip, lace, but not ferrule. Now, if you try and turn it to ferrule when you've got a ribber on it, it will get bent. And then it jams and stops the whole mechanism working. So I was told once by a... a a very helpful technician when this happened to one of my machines was he said um do, do you have you ever tried to put it to fair on a ribbon and i went well no but um i'm sure the students have and he said well in that case because uh, I, I used to repair machines for students in, in the university he said in that case he said um cut it off and then if it does get sent, turned to fair art, it will you know, mangle the machine up. But you'll be able to use this cam. If this cam isn't working because it's got bent, you have to buy a whole new uh, assembly uh, because it's very hard to bend it back again. Uh, and so if, you, if it's your own machine and you're pretty sure that it won't mess you around, then my suggestion would be to cut that little bit off that you can see poking down there. You can just wiggle it with a, with a pair of pliers long enough and it will shear off. But only do that if you're absolutely positive you're not going to um, make a mistake by turning your machine to F with a ribbon in it.